Hey guys, what is up? It is your boy Deceptive Cobras, and today I want to talk to you about two main things that uh, is happening with the channel, apart from the background noise, of course, and that is the rebrand. As you can see, Team Deceptive, we are live, we are, we exist now. Uh, this is my official uh, esports team logo um, that I designed myself uh, with a little bit of help from and input from you guys over on Facebook. Right, let me hear. And then here, and I've got messages apparently. Oh, okay, so uh, as you can see, guys, you head on over here, Cobra Nation Public Gaming. It's a gaming group where I post everything. Now, one of the things I want to talk to you about is the uh, uh, the big D, my big case uh, project. I've finally gone ahead and found me a uh, an, a nice little combo deal. It's not the best, but then again, I'm not aiming, I'm not shooting for, you know, Linus Media. I'm not aiming at Barnacles. I'm not aiming at Jay's Two Cents. I'm not even aiming at Awesome Source Network. I'm not aiming at any of these guys. This is going to be the bare basic starts of my new gaming rig. My current rig is going to be pushed down and regulated to just being my, 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 my YouTube video creating machine and a few other things but most importantly it's going to be my encoding machine because ta -da 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 -da, i actually found a, uh, a single signal to dual split adapter so as you can see that's more parts going on toward the water cooling side of the build but as you can see guys it's not a bad little system i'm getting it on a cyber cyber monday slash uh, black friday deal it's an AMD Vishira 6 core at 3.5 gigahertz. Of course, we're going to bump that up maybe to about 4, 4.3, 4.4, uh, simply because uh, I will be water cooling it uh, with uh, 8 gigs of RAM, which will be swapped out at a later date for 32, which is right here, as you can see. And of course, then eventually the 6 core will be swapped out for the uh, 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 Vishera 8 core 4.7 gigahertz. It's my laptop. Anyway, back to this. And um, so you'll understand that that's going to be the potential next processor. And uh, that's going to be the RAM. Of course, G skill, rip jaw. Rip, as they say. And um, and I like, I, again, I just want to let you know about the new facelift on the channel. So, you know, if you were a subscriber or a follow up, and, uh, you know, here you go, guys. This is the new rebrand. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. it took me a while to get it going. And the website will be coming. In. Uh, coming along here soon, so don't worry. Uh, of course, if you want to join the uh, uh, Facebook gaming group, links will be in the video description down below. I do post in there practically daily uh, with updates uh, uh, um, and even some preemptive video and, of course, screenshots, as you can see, and whatnot of games and stuff that I am going ahead and are doing. Anyway, I look forward to seeing a review of the uh, Zealots Custom C12 gaming mouse. Uh, this was provided by Afunta Electronics. Thank you, Afunta, for, for doing that. And uh, again, look forward to seeing the review on that. Uh, however, I will not be doing the hands-on side review of that. My wife will, the Baroness, uh, because I'm a left-handed gamer. This is for predominantly right-handed gamers. So, and she's right-handed. So she's going to be doing the mouse review. I'm just going to be doing the overview, technical specs, etc., etc. She will be explaining how it feels to play and things like that. But back to the build. The build itself is not that bad. Of course, the power supply, I'm going to probably end up junking it because it comes with the case. I'm not going to be keeping the case, of course. The case itself is going to be gutted, uh, and some of the parts will be used in the, the Big D project, of course. Most notably, the front uh, 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 USB 3.0 headers, uh, simply because the, uh, uh, the system that I'm actually looking at, I believe the motherboard does have um, uh, uh, USB 3.0 on it. Let's take a look real quick, shall we? We can zoom in real quick. So it's got uh, PCI Express slots. Uh, six, oh, top slot is a 16. Okay, uh, three gig, six SATA, three gig, SATA. Uh, da, 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 da. I know it's got uh, two USB, port, uh, USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 ports in the back. Uh, there we go, right there. Front USB 3.0 and a couple of USB uh, 2.0 headers, so that'll be good. That 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 that'll be nice. Knowing that I can actually have 
a couple of USB 3.0 frat headers to uh, plug in some, uh, you know, some higher end, high bandwidth material, i.e. my microphone and my uh, 10, 1080p webcam, uh, along with my um, mouse, of course, because it is 3.0 compatible. So yeah, this is the motherboard. It's a small little, uh, 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 I believe it, it's, a, it's a micro ATX board. So it's actually pretty tiny. And with it being inside in such a bigger case, I know it's going to fit. There's not going to be any fitment issues, etc. Et uh, I don't have to worry about the power supply required for it because again, I know that I've got the power. Uh, I got the power. Eh, eh. Never mind. And so uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, fan pin headers. So I don't have to worry about having uh, custom built uh, uh, fan speed controllers. Of course, I will when I start going to water cooling, uh, simply because I just want to control, uh, have more control of what go, goes on in my machine. Uh, and that's it. Unfortunately, we can't go Crossfire or, or SLI with this machine, uh, simply because the uh, PCI Express slots are actually staggered. So uh, unfortunately, we can't do that. But that's fine. Uh, again, this is a little nice little entry level board for what I have planned. And um, again, guys, yes, I will be swapping out. I will, will be going to AMD. I will not be sticking with Intel. The original plan was to use an older X58 system uh, that you can usually get, believe it or not, on eBay pretty goddamn che cheap. Uh, so uh, let's take a quick look and just type in X58. X58. See? You can actually get the... the I mean, that's just stupid, you know. Here you go, motherboard plus processor. Ironically, this is the uh, processor that I'm actually currently using, and it's uh, 125. Oh, sorry, 175 plus 12 dollars shipping. So you can actually get yourself an i7 that can stream for pretty cheap. I may actually pick up a another board and processor like this, and uh, a, a later date, of course, and uh, regulate my uh, new machine I'm buying down to say maybe a h a, uh, uh, um, a little blu-ray player and whatnot who knows but uh for now the gaming rig will be an amd it will be a six core vishera uh it will be bumped up to 32 gigs of ram of course and uh, the graphics card is a 750 ti i believe um oh well combo deal is no longer available lucky i just literally got that when i did uh, the, gra the, the graphics card in question was a 750Ti. I don't believe it was, I don't think it's powered by the uh, power supply. Which is, I hate that. Why classify it as a 750Ti then if it's not powered? You know, I mean, my 660 requires a minimum, you know, a, a six pin connector from the power supply. So why does a 750Ti not? Uh, again, what I'll do when I finally get the, re the, the parts in, There'll be another update video to stick stay tuned if you're new or new to this big d project please go check out my other update videos i finally got um the captive acorn nuts that i've wanted unfortunately they didn't all have them in the brass that i wanted so i had to get some in the nickel so what i might do is when i go to have the case painted i uh, may take the uh, uh, um the the brass nuts with me and have them painted to match the uh, nickel so uh, yeah guys that that that's where we're at right now uh, with the build, of course. Uh, right now, again, I'm still in the, in the process of mock-up. And uh, so, yeah. And, and again, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Again, either way, I greatly appreciate it. But most importantly, guys, uh, that's the only update I can do right now. But fear not. Uh, fingers crossed, I'm still waiting on an R9 390 to get to me from a friend. It's on loan. Uh, I'm going to be bunging it in my streaming machine. I'm going to be using that to uh, stream, stream again, and uh, I'll most likely be streaming some uh, uh, a little bit of uh, Armored Warfare and a whole bunch of War Thunder, uh, thanks to you guys, because you guys are awesome. Uh, also, I'm going to be picking up a copy of Red Orchestra 2 uh, and giving that a run for its money here on the, on, on the Twitch channel. So, uh, till then, guys, keep your shows fine, keep your enemies dying, your Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you guys in the next one, my friends.